Once upon a time, a brave racer descended upon the land of opportunity, embarking on a journey that would lead him through the uncharted path in search of the elusive quality racing. It wasn't long before reality reared its ugly head. Chaos ensued from other brave racers eager to lead, pillaging all the rubber from their surroundings, leaving behind the trail of destruction along the stretches of barren roads where silence at times felt deafening. All was gone. So yeah, that was a proper movie trailer-esque kind of intro because I wanted just to showcase how bad this game got immediately after the August update. I know I give a ton of crap uh, to Forza Motorsport for being uh, a place that you don't find clean races very often, but I do enjoy this game a lot, it's my favorite game. But it's sad when such a big update comes out and it, it seems to bring a lot of new people into the game, but at the same time, there is this type of people who join uh, as a result, causing this type of races where it, it's not enjoyable, that's what I'm trying to say. And it was immediately after, I mean, the update came out, I joined the lobby, I had the, the track limits on, as you can see, it's distracting by the way, I turned it off later. And immediately after the update, a couple minutes after, the lobbies were already like this. And I know that the, that's something that you come across very often in Forza Motorsport. This isn't something that's very difficult to come by, to be honest. But not uh, to this extent. Pretty much every single race that I've done on this in this day, oh, I did a lot of races in a row when I was recording this video. And pretty much every single lobby that I joined in was filled to the brim with dirty racers, with rammers, with all sorts of nasty people in racing games. And, and I don't know, it looks... One thing that I did notice, when you join a lobby with rammers, with dirty drivers, with corner cutters, stick to your lines, do the races as clean as possible, and you can... And I can guarantee you that these people are gonna leave the lobby pretty soon because people who join in the lobbies to do this type of stuff to pull off like ramming and pushing people off the track they don't have the patience to see races through so as soon as they realize that they're not going they're not gonna get anywhere by pulling that that stuff off they're just gonna give up and quit the lobby but on this day in particular it looks like one people one one set of people left another set of dirty dirty racers joined in right after so every single race that i did on this day was filled to the brim with people like that and turn 10 studios absolutely needs to do something about it it's something that it's high on, on my priority list of of stuff that i wanted to see in forza motorsport 7 and any forza motorsport game for that matter but I hope that they do change it, that they do fix it to some extent when the racing regu when the race regulation system is implemented later this year. And I do hope that this race regulation si regulation system is done right, because you cannot think that you're gonna be able to keep people uh, the the faithful players of your franchise. You you cannot, in good conscience, think that you're gonna be able to keep these, play, these players interested in your game for too long uh, with this type of behavior being something so common and I, I classify this type of behavior as toxic and not toxic in the way that people say these days that everything is toxic but um, I, I mean you join in a lobby to have fun to have some some great time playing the game to I don't know to enjoy the race and that's what you come across on the very first race that you do. It's not something that's very... <laughs> it's not fun. So, pretty much from this point on, the race died out. So, I'm going to cut the video and skip over to the next one, which is a little bit better than this one. 
So I wanted to end this video on a good note, so I'm skipping ahead to a race that I very much enjoyed. Uh, it's one of those races that you have once every, I don't know, a hundred races in Forza Motorsport, at least from my personal uh, experience. And um, there, there, are, there were some really fast guys, I, I mean, I've done a lot of racing with these guys on this day. This is a backlog footage, of course, this is prior to the update, as I mentioned uh, previously. And I want you to pay attention to the guy in third place, Smooch01. Uh, that's the guy that's gonna be a key part of why this race was so awesome and so fun. And this guy goes a little bit, well, he goes a lot wider than he was supposed to. He rejoins in the worst way possible. Uh, he kind of, yeah, he, he, he could have led to an accident if I wasn't careful enough. I'm going to cut on the inside, take up the fourth place. And now I'm going to try to reel the guys up front in. And there's going to be a three-way battle going on up ahead, so I hope that it leads to some mistakes, not crashes, but uh, mistakes like people uh, messing up their lines or messing up their breaking points and something that I can capitalize on so that I can uh, get closer to these guys up front. And I'm not a big fan of muscle cars, as you probably know if you watched any of my previous videos, and part of it is because I suck at driving uh, muscle cars, Let, let's be honest here. But uh, I know this track very well it's one of the tracks that i'm the fastest at so that's why i'm able to take the most out of a car that i don't uh, particularly excel at and this kind of hydra guy uh, make a little bit of contact with smooch he goes a little bit too wide and off the track i take up the third place the mxr weasel is gonna Collide against the, the, the wall. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Maybe he overshot the corner and, and went a little bit too wide in there and It was too late for him to correct the, the car before he collided against the wall and now the race is on And I know that the smooch 101 the guy in first place. He's uh, We are pretty much level. I've done a, a lot of races before with them and It was pretty much down to me and him over most of the races that that we've done and I know he's quick I know I am quick and it makes this race a lot more interesting because it's gonna come down to whether or not uh, to, it's gonna come down to who is gonna make the, mo the most mistakes and as you can see I'm starting to gain a little bit on him and I would believe so that that's because my car is a little bit fast I don't remember exactly uh, how my car uh, fared up against his and yeah it looks like his car is a little bit faster as you can see uh, the meters uh, the meter marker is going up a little bit not by a lot but it looks like my car has a little bit of an advantage around the corners and that's where I'm trying to I'm gonna try to make the most out of my car and make the most out of every opportunity that I can get to try to reel this guy in and try to go for an overtake and as you can see that the field spread is pretty wide the, the, the racers behind <laughs> they're nowhere to be seen on the map at this point and it's pretty much a two-way battle from this point on I'm about to cross the line into the fourth lap so we have two more laps uh, for me to do something about it I'm still pretty close to him and he goes a little bit too wide I'm gonna capitalize on that he hits a little uh, a bunch of tires that's gonna slow him down a little bit as you can see by the meter marker on, to, uh, on the left side, I'm gaining on him, I'm trying to go for an overtake, I take up the inside, he goes, uh, he sticks to the outside, he goes a little bit too wide again, uh, just about manages to avoid the tire wall, and uh, you can see the quality of the racer, uh, of the racing that, that we're dealing with here, when people are able to correct their mistakes very quickly in order to not become something so big that they screw up their racing. And I just about managed to avoid the tire wall, he goes a little bit too wide, again, I tap on the brakes to not uh, collide with them. I could have gone for an overtake if I was a little bit more aggressive over that section, I decided to just uh, back out 
uh, to just to back off a little bit just I, I, at this point it's not in my best interest to uh, well to be involved in any sort of collision as minor as it is because he can screw my racing up I take up the inside again he's gonna have to go a little bit to water we go um, we, <laughs> we collide a little bit in there I screw him up I slow down because I don't want to overtake him like this and as soon as he comes alongside my car I step on the gas and we're both good to go he didn't go for an overtake he could have gone but he also slowed down so we could have some sort of restart of the race in the middle of the race and now one thing that worries me a little bit is that there is a back marker and there is a chance that the back marker up in front uh, might slow down a little bit uh, in order to try to screw us up so I'm up in first place surprisingly and I'm trying to <laughs> pull away but as you can see he's right behind me there's not much I can do his car seems to be a little bit faster and now my fears have come to reality the back marker seemed to have uh, slowed down a little bit or maybe he collided against the wall I don't know let's see if I manage to avoid them He's gonna try to go for something here. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm gonna try to go for the left. Surprisingly, no. I was waiting to see if he was gonna do something because that's... I don't know, back markers are usually very bad players, but this guy was really nice. He gave us both space to keep on going, so he didn't screw us up. But anyways, that was one of the most awesome races that I've done in recent... Uh, in the recent months so it's very much appreciated when these races do happen so i hope you enjoyed the race if you did like the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more forza motorsport 7 content share the video with your friends and on your social media it helps me out a lot and i really appreciate the help and i hope to see you guys on the next one bye